Well, there is the lineup for this uh, next race, and Lawrence Clark going in this one for Great Britain, the newly crowned British champion. Ronnie Ash, Jason Richardson, and uh, Jarrett Eaton, as well as Omegon Osagai, making it a very strong lineup. But uh, Shane Brathwaite, well, the uh, 25 year old winning his national championship in Barbados recently, running 13 26 in the heat and the final of those uh, championships in Bridgetown. 3 1 6 is uh, Takumu Furoya. 1379, that's all this year. Up against it here is uh, the Japanese. Beside him, Lawrence Clark, he's up against it too. The Olympic fourth place, a former European junior champion, the 25 year old gold in European juniors back in 2009. 1353 this year, Lawrence Clark. Fifth in the Birmingham Diamond League in that time. Ronnie Ash. Well, the 27-year-old is a best of 12.99. That came in the semi-finals of the US Championships in Sacramento last year. Second in the US Championships, Ronnie Ash in 13.13. Jason Richardson couldn't make that uh, US squad for the World Championships, despite being World Championship back, champion back in 2011. An Olympic silver medalist in 2012. Hasn't been able to find that form this year. Only sixth at the US Championships in uh, Eugene a few weeks back. Shane Brathwaite of uh, Barbados, as I said, uh, in fine form, 13.26 to take his national title. Twice he did that in two days. Jared Eaton, the 26-year-old, already 17 110 meter hurdles races this year. He's got to be tired. Went down this heat of the US Championships. That's run 13.41 this year. And Osegai, the world indoor champion from Sopot last year, eighth in the US Championships in 13.69. Had a bit of a, a nightmare there, did Osegai, the 27-year-old. Hasn't raced since Eugene. Those championships, what, uh, about three weeks back now. But can Jason Richardson, there he is, find his form this year. He won the world championships in Daegu four years ago after uh, Dayron Robles was disqualified for impeding Lu Zhang. Do you remember that one? Really untidy, messy final. Personal best of 12.98, Jason Richardson. Indeed, he's run that time three times. Just can't push on down into the low 12.90s to really challenge the likes of reigning world champion and reigning US champion David Oliver, who, of course, uh, looks like he's going to make a pretty solid defense of his title come Beijing. Alik Harris it was who was fourth in the US Championships and will go to Beijing because Oliver gets that bye as world champion. Lawrence Clark then in three, Ronnie Ash in four, Jason Richardson five, Brathwaite six, Eaton seven, world indoor champion Osagai in eight. Well, first to rise is Shane Brathwaite in the black, third to left, Richardson trying to go with him. Lawrence Clark coming through strong in two in the purple, second to right, but really good running too from Ronnie Ash. It's very tight indeed. Richardson's going to take it. Richardson takes it from Ronnie Ash. Lawrence Clark takes third, 13.27, plus 1.1. Well, the conditions could hardly be better. 13.27, while being a very solid time, Martin, is not quite yet where he'd like to be, this man. He can only beat the people that are there on the day. 13.25, in fact, rounded down slightly to the benefit of the former world champion. But uh, he will be pleased with a win and to put away a good field. And he will be disappointed inside, I'm sure, that he's not pushed closer to 13 seconds. Richardson season's best 13.12, so he's only a metre or so back from that. With the quality of that uh, handoff on the cameraman, perhaps he should be on the rugby field as well. <laughs> Splendid stuff from Jason Richardson, technically so proficient. Ronnie Ash was caught in the blocks a little bit, hit the first barrier, took a while to get going. Started to come back here at Richardson, but Richardson showed why it's so important to not only be quick between the barriers, but flawless over them. And uh, Richardson, the best technician there on the night, no doubt about that, made no mistakes. And you could see there, because he was straining was Ronnie Ash, Caught his trail like a couple of times, and just when it looks as like if he might come through, his uh, hurdling let him down. But Richardson, he's somebody who you'd uh, like to put your money on often when he lines up because he's such a consistent racer, technically very good, and as we saw there, he got everything right. Oh, good to me. <laughs> Quite a clash, I'm not sure where his eyes were. There was plenty of space to veer away from the camera, and <laughs> I think that's an accident. 
but he's unharmed and uh, Jason Richardson indeed is the winner 13.25 from Ronnie Ashes 13.26 Lawrence Clark 13.39 there that's a big new season's best for Lawrence Clark brilliant stuff